Today, I want to talk to you about vocabulary that, well, it's all about when you have a baby. Hey everyone, my name is Wes. This is Interactive English, which is all about helping you practice and improve your English skills. And today I have a collaboration lesson for you because I am going to do today's lesson with our little daughter, Emmy. She's gonna help me out and teach you all of these different words related to having a baby. So if you are thinking about having a baby, or maybe you know somebody who does have a baby or is going to have a baby, then these are some vocabulary words that you need to know. So we're gonna start at the very beginning and then we're gonna move through this as the baby would get older. So let's start at the absolute beginning before the baby is born and talk about the word conceived. So if we're talking about this word conceived, it is talking about the, the point at which the woman becomes pregnant. That point in time when she becomes pregnant, you would say that, that the child was conceived. It's not a word that you would just use in conversation, like, oh, well, when was the baby conceived? You may hear people use it informally, maybe even joking around, like, oh, I think it, our, our child was conceived when we were on vacation. You can also use this word as a noun, which is conception, the point of conception. So the next word, which is actually a phrase, which I, I think is much more common. Yes, it's much more common, and that is maternity leave. So. If we're talking about just the word maternity, it's talking about the period of time just before the child is born. What are you doing? And, and right after the child is born, she's grabbing my ear. And that is maternity. And you may hear it used with other nouns like, like maternity, maternity clothes. That's uh, a common phrase that you may hear. But, what? well, we're teaching maternity leave. Yeah, what's wrong? What's going on? What? <laughs> am I not? Am I not? Am I not teaching it correctly? You get back over here. You get back over here. You get back over here. <laughs> so, maternity leave is talking about the the time period uh, that a woman, the mother, can take off from work. The time before she gives birth as well as the time after. That time period is called maternity leave. And this is something that I think people just talk about in general, about how much maternity leave uh, the mother will get. Maybe she might talk about it or somebody might ask like, oh, how, how, how much maternity leave are, are you going to take? Or how much can you take? Because this is something that will be different depending on the country that you live in or the job that you have. Now, another word that is closely associated with maternity leave is paternity leave. This is the time in which a man is allowed away from work, like once the child is born. Usually that, that is when some uh, a guy would take paternity leave it's not, uh, I don't think this phrase is as commonly used as maternity leave. That is a phrase that you will hear, I think, much more often than paternity leave. But if you want to talk about how much time the father is allowed to take off from work, then that would be paternity leave. Another phrase that you may also hear people mention is due date. And if you hear somebody talking about the due date, that is the date at which the, the couple expects the baby to be born, the due date. Now, once it gets close to the due date, or maybe if it's on the due date, the woman may go into labor. And to go into labor means the process of, of giving birth has begun. And you would say, well, she's gone into labor and we need to go to the hospital. Once the woman goes into labor, then you need to get to the hospital. And at the hospital, that is where the doctor would deliver the baby. So that is the verb that you would use, deliver the baby. And this is something that the doctor would do because to deliver the baby, it refers to the help that someone receives in order to give birth to the child, to deliver the baby. The doctor would help deliver the baby. Now let's talk about what once the baby is born and, and talk about some words that you could use or you may hear after the, the baby has been born. And the first one is uh, pediatrician. 
Now, a pediatrician is a type of doctor. It is a doctor that specializes in treating infants or children. So once the baby is born and the baby is delivered, then people will need to visit a, a pediatrician to make sure that the, the baby is healthy. Another word that you may hear, which is related to health in, in babies and children is, <laughs> bless you, yeah, bless you. <laughs> is, that, is that funny? <laughs> and, and that word is a vaccination. And a vaccination is just referring to the, the substance that somebody is given, typically a, a shot, which will help protect them from disease, a vaccination. Or you could use it as a verb and you'd say to vaccinate a child, which is to, to give them those shots, which will help protect them from disease. When it comes to feeding the baby, then you would use the word nursing. Nursing is the word you would use when talking about feeding the baby breast milk. Now, babies can either have breast milk or they could have formula. That is the, the next word that I wanted to teach you. And there are many different types of formula, but formula is just talking about artificial food that, that babies can have. So for example, if there is some reason that the, the baby is not able to have breast milk, then the, the parents would want to give the baby formula. Is this talk about food making you hungry? The next word that I wanna teach you is teething. And this is something that, that she started pretty early and this is when the teeth start to come in. And when the teeth start to come in, babies, they, they like to, to chew on things and we call that teething. The, the baby is teething, or you could, somebody might ask like, oh, has the baby started teething yet? Have those teeth started to come in? Another word, uh, which I think it, it deals more with sleeping when babies need to sleep. <laughs> yeah, that is swaddle, to swaddle. This is a verb and it, it has to do with the baby sleeping typically. And that is when you just wrap the baby tightly in a blanket and you, whoa, really? <laughs> you have such strong feelings about swaddling. You would say to swaddle the baby, to wrap them tightly. So when, when talking about a baby, there are many different items that you might hear somebody talk about. And I want to highlight some of the differences between American English and British English, because it's quite often that we use different words to describe the same thing. For example, the first one that I have for you is stroller. In the United States, people overwhelmingly say stroller, and this is the what this is what you use to push the baby around in a stroller. When you go outside, you put the baby in the stroller and, and you go push them around. You may also hear people say baby carriage, but I, I don't think that's as common. I think overwhelmingly people would say stroller, but you could also use baby carriage. In the UK, people will either say a push chair, pram, or buggy. I, I don't really know which one is more popular than the other, but you could use any of those, push chair, pram, or buggy. Something else when talking about babies is a diaper, all right? This is what uh, the babies wear underneath uh, their clothes, uh, because they will pee or poop in the diaper. And that is what they say in the US. It's called a diaper. In the UK, people may call it a nappy. So diaper or nappy. Another difference would be, well, the outfit she is wearing right now in the United States, you would call this a onesie. It's an outfit that covers the whole body. Sometimes it does cover the arms and the legs. Other times it doesn't, but it is just referred to as a onesie. In the UK, this may be called a baby grow. Now, interestingly enough, both of those names actually come from very, I guess, very well-known companies that make them. So in the United States, Gerber is the company that trademarked the name onesie, and in the UK, Baby Grow trademarked the name Baby Grow. And those words have, have just become the name for this, this type of clothing right here, a onesie or baby grow. You want this? What? Oh, it's good, good stuff, yeah. 
Something else that babies tend to do is drool quite often. To drool is when the, the saliva and that liquid just comes out of their mouth. In the UK, people might say dribble instead. Drool versus dribble. Another word that is different is, well, this right here. In the US, this is called a pacifier. It is what uh, babies will suck on when they're very young. In the UK, people may call this a dummy. So a pacifier or a dummy. And if you are in Canada, it may be called a binky or a soother. So there are many, many different names for, for this, this right here, all right? Another difference, because babies, well, I think they're often tired, which uh, is what people say in the US. People may also say that in the UK as well, but another way to say that in British English is knackered. So if you're in the US, you'd say the baby's tired. If you're in the UK, then you could say the baby's tired or the baby's knackered. Then there's a crib, which is a, a small bed for infants or young children. And that, well, in the US, that's what people say. They call it a crib, that small bed. In the UK, people would call it a cot, a crib versus a cot. So we hope you learned some new words in today's lesson. There are so many words when it comes to babies and infants. And if you think of some others that, that I did not include in this lesson, then write them in the comments, share with everyone. That is a great way to continue building your vocabulary. If you enjoyed our collaboration, please, hit that like button down below. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Or right, we'll see you next time, yeah? Bye, can you say bye? Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> oh. Ow, goodness, what, those are my glasses. What, is that funny? Ow, ow, what, ow, what? Oh, chow, 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 oh, chow, chow, chow.